welcome to this introduction of the VS Code Suite. Today I want to show you the technology navigator and how it works. First of all, we place a symbol in the single line technology. Next step is get a part of the database to get all the information of the manufacturer. Okay, you see all the information is filled in the symbol. Let's change to the schematics and get another few symbol. Okay. Place it in the schematics and now we can connect it to the reference name of the single line symbol. And you will see all the information of the part database is now given to this symbol. Okay, let's change to the cabinet drawing. And now open the material explorer and you see it's drawn in the technology of the single line and the schematics. And now we can place it with a symbol which is taken out of the database. Let's see what our technology navigator does. He built a cross reference to all the technologies. And we can jump to the technologies. Let's see how we can create our own work area. First of all, go on view and we will see there are some work areas which are already designed. If you want to create your own, you can go on work area and save the current state. That means all that you see at this moment will be saved in your work area. So next thing we can do is we can customize our toolbars and keyboard functions. So we can create a new one, give it a name, And that's it. Now we can give different comments to it, for example, creating a project or load a symbol, load a macro, and so on. Let's see how we can create some macros. Let's go to the electrical engineering part of the software. Let's copy a fuse to get some more parts into our macro. If you copy and press a plus button, you can add more than one symbol in one step. Okay, that's done. And now let's mark the symbols then right click with the mouse selection and go on function and create a path or page macro you see the macro editor will open and here you can do some changes or save it with a name you remember so that you can use your macro on every next project or in another page Let's see, in the Drawing Macro Explorer, now you will find, after you have actualized your symbol or your macro. There it is. And now we can place it. And you see it will be numbered automatically with the next three numbers. So that's it for today. Thank you for listening and we will see us at the next video.